If you want to produce high quality recordings when you're utilizing OBS Studio, the settings that you utilize matter. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the exact settings that I would utilize to produce high quality 1080p 60 frame per second recordings utilizing OBS Studio. And if you're new here, welcome to the Streamer Academy where I teach you how to start, create and grow your stream. So go ahead and visit the streameracademy.com for tons of free resources to help you grow your stream. The first thing we're going to do for our recording settings in OBS, click settings. We're going to start with the video tab. So for the video tab, you want your base canvas to be 1920 by 1080. You want your output scale to be 1920 by 1080. And you want the common FPS values to be 60. Now this is a fresh install of OBS Studio because I want you to see the settings that I would utilize to be able to produce high quality recordings. Then we're going to come here to where it says output. We're going to select the recording tab. And by default, this is set to simple. We want to select advanced. And this is where we're going to start to customize these settings. The first thing here is to decide on the recording path. I encourage you to go ahead and get an internal SSD or an external SSD dedicated just for your recordings. And I'll go ahead and put some in the description of this video of recommendations for certain SSDs that I would recommend. Then for the recording format, we want to make sure you select M. KV. This is super important. You do not want to select MP4 here because an MKV file, what it means is that an OBS can always crash if you have it on MP4 and OBS crashes, you just lost that recording. However, if you select MKV and OBS crashes, you're going to be able to recover that recording and continue working from where you left off, which is super important. So, and I'll show you here in just a few moments how to be able to have OBS automatically convert this into an MP4 after you're done recording. So you can import it into your editing software afterwards. So for now, select MKV. And then for the video encoder, I encourage you to go ahead and utilize NVIDIA NVIC H264. And if you don't have that option available, you can select H264 if you have more of a lower end PC. I'm gonna select that there. For the audio encoder, we're gonna leave it as is at ACC. And then for the audio track, you wanna select an audio track that's not the one utilized for streaming, for example. Now, if you don't stream, you can go ahead and just have it at audio track one. And then we wanna come up here to audio audio and you want to make sure that your audio track one for recording is set to 320. Do not leave it at 160. 160 is good for streaming because anytime you stream to a different platform, it goes ahead and compresses your audio. So putting it higher than 160 doesn't make any sense. But for recording to get the highest quality audio, you want to put it at 320. Okay. Once you have that, we'll come back here to the recording tab. I'm just going to leave this at three for me. Rescale output, leave it disabled. And this is where the biggest thing matters, the encoder settings. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch which is from constant bit rate to QP. Okay, so for the constant QP, we want to go ahead and put this at 16. Okay, for the keyframe intervals, we want to go ahead and put that at two. For the preset, this is where you kind of can adjust it, but if you want the best quality, you're going to want to select P7, best quality. If you do a test recording and you see some kind of lagging, then you want to go ahead and lower this, and I would lower it then to maybe medium quality, and you can just kind of tweak. The closer you are to P1, okay, the less resources it takes on your machine, and the higher you are to P7, seven, the more resources you take on the PC, right? So it's going to leave it at best quality tuning. You want to have it at high quality, multi-pass two passes profile. You want to have it at high look ahead. You want to uncheck this adaptive quantization. You want to leave that on and brief frames. You want to have it at two. You're going to select apply here, but we're not done just yet. You're going to come to settings again. You're going to select advanced. And this is where I mentioned that you want to select automatically remux to MP4. What this means is that you're going to get the benefit of an MKV file, meaning that if OBS crashes, you're still going to be able to recover that and be able to use that file. And then after that recording is done, OBS will automatically switch it and convert it to an MP4, which is going to be a lot easier to be able to upload that directly to YouTube or to be able to put that into your editing software. So you want to go ahead and select that, select apply, and press OK. And now you're ready to go ahead and start recording. However, if you want to be able to stream, these are not the settings for you to utilize for streaming. Those are are completely different and require different resources and different settings to be able to utilize. So if you want to have the best recording settings, use these. If you want the best streaming settings as well, go ahead and watch this video right here where I walk you step by step on the best streaming settings to utilize. I'll see you guys in the next video.